So I want to give a follow-up to the addition of the hard start capacitor and the video that I did covering that. If you're starting with this video, uh, don't. Go back to, uh, I'll put a link down at the bottom, go back and click the link to the first video which shows the installation of the hard start capacitor and some of the background here. Um, I'll cover this real briefly in case anybody doesn't feel like clicking the link. I have a Yamaha 2400 watt generator. I have a 13.5 BTU air conditioner on that travel trailer. And it seemed like the um, seemed like the generator was kind of hit or miss with this air conditioner. So I tried the hard start capacitor. However, we all know that just because something works here in the driveway does not mean that when it's 100 degrees outside and your family is counting on you to have made good decisions uh, on how to keep everyone alive, uh, well, don't want to be dramatic, not alive, but certainly comfortable. We set off on our trip this summer. We were at two different locations when we tried the air conditioner. One was Valley of the God. We were at uh, about 4,000, almost 5,000 foot elevation. Daytime temperatures were about 105. And um, so the odds were stacked against me. Again at Gooseneck, I think we were also at about 5,000 foot elevation and similar temperatures, 100 plus degrees. If the air conditioner didn't work, we were we had a, a little haul to get out. I'll show you the clips that we took um, while we were at these two locations and trying out our air conditioner with the generator um, for real for the first time. Okay, so for a follow-up on the hard start capacitor that we put on the air conditioner, here we are in southern Utah in July, 100 degree day. Right now it's probably we tried it at 100 degrees at the hottest part of the day and it did not start up. But we are going to start it now. I don't know, sun's been down about two hours. It's probably in the upper 80s right now. And we're going to give this a shot. I've got the converter turned off. Everything, everything turned off except for this one um, LED light. Well, we do have a couple of things charging. Mm, do you want to um, plug them? So, no, I don't think they, they have that much of a draw. So, let's go to high fan. Okay, fan starts up. Can you open that window again, babe, so I can hear it better? tonight but we have to decide from a security perspective if we're comfortable with that I think we may all decide we are but uh, anyway there you go started in July southern Utah uh, here in don't, in in sorry, Va Valley of the Gods in Valley of the Gods during a heat wave during a historic heat wave uh, and I can't tell you for sure what the temperature is, but when you guess, it's probably right up close to 90, probably yeah. in the high 80s. Yeah. So, there you go. All right. I don't think it's quite 6 a.m. yet, and we've been up for uh, a little bit already. The generator, I'm very impressed. It ran all night. I heard it cycle three or four times. It handled each cycle just fine. It's currently running, but I'll be shutting it off here in a second. But, I mean, you can hear. That's it running with the fan. Um, with just the fan. So... 
it looks as though, I mean, heck, it, uh, we had to fill it up once, and so I think it took, um, probably took almost three gallons to get through the night, which is not bad, not bad. So, um, we were all comfortable, very comfortable this morning. It's supposed to be about 70. One of the most interesting things about that video that um, is kind of funny, but it's also a really important part of this whole process is um, you could see how excited we were. And um, it's one thing to theorize at home about getting this air conditioner to work. It's another thing to be out in the middle of southern Utah in really relentless conditions and really counting on your equipment. So you could see um, we did not have expectations set very high and um, you could tell how excited we were when it actually worked. So lesson to be learned there. Um, you know, I think if I had to do it over again, I wouldn't purchase this generator and I'm certainly not recommending someone purchase this generator. So this is not a recommendation, but it is thankfully a success story. If I had to do it again, I would not skirt this close to the line. Um, I'm really proud of the job that the generator did, but at the same time, I would have liked to have had maybe the Honda 3000 or a pair of Honda 2000s. With that said though, the Yamaha really has done everything I've thrown at it. It's about six to seven years old now and always has started on first or second pull. Um, we ran it like a dog on this trip. I mean, in 100 degree weather, it ran all day long running the air conditioner and all night long as well. So, um, you know, hey, hats off to it. It worked hard, it did the job, but I'm fortunate. And if you're watching this video to maybe make a decision on which route to go, uh, please hear me clear, I'm not making a recommendation. I'm, I'm just showing you what, what's happened in my situation. Um, actually, if I'm gonna make a recommendation, I, my recommendation is um, do something that's gonna give you a, a, a larger margin um, in running your air conditioner because it is that important when you need it. But like I said, check, make sure you check the video uh, in the link below. That's the first part to this that shows my installate, the installation process of the hard start capacitor. I'll also link that video um, at the end of this one.